Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel guys. Uh, I am Abhishek Pandya and today we are going to learn how to design CMOS OPAMP. This is the first video of a three part uh, video series of uh, CMOS OPAMP design and implementation. Somebody commented on our previous videos uh, where uh, we have shown the use of magic tool and uh, uh, the layout implementation in magic tool. So somebody commented on that and said that they want layout of OPAMP. Uh, so we thought why not uh, start with the entire video series where we show everything about OPAMP. Not only layout but starting with the design, then implementation, then comparison between the final outcome and the initial data and finally the layout of it. So this will be a, a long form video series where we will show everything. So let's start the video right away. So here we go. So uh, you can see uh, we have made a small presentation uh, for this particular purpose and uh, starting with the presentation. So we are going to talk about CMOS operational amplifier, complementary metal oxide semiconductor operational amplifier. Uh, in this particular video, we will talk about the design part, how the working ha happens. Let's start with the first thing, diagram. Okay. So how the two stage CMOS OPAMP will look. See, so this is the two stage CMOS operation amplifier. So if you can see my cursor, so there M1 and M2 are given. So M1 and M2 are the differential input pair. You can see the V in voltage is applied between uh, M1 and M2. Okay? Uh, M3 and M4 are current mirrors. Why do we use them? We use them to pass the same current in this branch and in this branch as well. Of course, with imbalances in the VIN, these currents will change. Our prior goal is to say make this two currents seem. Okay? Now uh, you can see there is a compensation capacitor or CC. Uh, this is the second stage where it is known as a common source stage. So this is the differential sta input stage and this is the common source stage. So this is, that is why it is known as two stage CMOS op-amp. Uh, VDD, uh, the vo supply voltage and VSS also supply voltages. Uh, this is CL or load capacitance and this is the V out or the output voltage. Okay, so uh, this is the two stage CMOS op-amp. Now I would like to explain the working of this op-amp. Okay, so how does this uh, particular uh, circuit work? So M1 and M2 are input voltage pairs. Okay, so where we will give, give input voltage V in. Now uh, this particular VIN will change the current which is flowing through this particular uh, branches, right? So this branch and this branch will not have same currents. They have imbalance in current. Now, this uh, M3 and M4, there will be current flowing from here to here and there will be current flowing from here to here. So what will happen is that this input voltage has made a current change and that is charging this compensation capacitor CC, okay? So the voltage has been converted into current and that current is charging this compensation capacitor or CC. Now this CC because it is charged there will be a voltage buildup which has happened in the across this CC and that will increase the VG voltage right VG or the gate voltage of the M6 transistor that will in turn result in uh, more current flowing from M6 okay. So, Current is uh, the current which is flowing from this uh, capacitor capacitor has charged this and now more current will flow from M6 right now so this is the common source configuration of M7 and because of that more current is flowing from this uh, M6 and M7 both the transistors and that will in turn result in charging of the CL so final output will become a uh, voltage because of this capacitor. So, uh, so understand the flow. So this this is a voltage that has changed this current. Current is uh, converted to more current because the charging of this capacitor and that final conversion from this current to loading of this capacitor or CL. Uh, this is charging of this capacitor CL. So this is how the this circuit particularly works. Okay. Now the second part or the design part. Okay. So now the re design requirements of the circuit. So what do we actually require uh, when we want to design this op-amp? Okay? There are several transistors as you have seen. 
सो वी नीड टू हैव सर्टेन पैरामीटर्स अवेलेबल विथ हस और द डिजाइन पैरामीटर्स सो दैट वी कैन कैलकुलेट द डब्ल्यू बाई एल रेशियोज ऑफ ऑल द ट्रांजिस्टर्स ओके सो दिस आर द पैरामीटर्स और द डिजाइन रिक्वायरमेंट्स दैट वी शुड हैव इन ऑर्डर टू डिजाइन दिस टू स्टेज सीम ऑसो पेम्प ओके सो द फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस पैरामीटर्स वन बाय वन यू मे ऑलरेडी नो दैम बट आई विल स्टिल गो विथ द बेजिक्स ओके सो दिस इज अ गेन ऑफ एन ओपैम्प ओके सो हाउ मच गेन डू वी वॉन्ट फ्रॉम दिस ओपैम्प दिस इज द फर्स्ट और द प्राइमरी पैरामीटर्स वैन वी डिजाइन एन ओपैम ओके गेन बेनिफिट प्रोडक्ट ओके सो इफ यू नो देर इज एन ग्राफ गेन बेनिफिट प्रोडक्ट दो द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस टू रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट so for some particular amount of frequency uh, the gain will be constant and then it will be reducing so if you know the graph the famous graph of uh, uh, gain bandwidth okay now the settling time how much amount of time our opamp will take to give us a stable output okay that is settling time blue rate the change in output with respect to change in input so how fast our opamp changes is uh, output uh, with respect to input so that is what slew rate is the uh, fifth is the uh, icmr or input common mode range icmr refers to the uh, input voltage ranges that we can apply to our opamp the input of an opamp is dependent on the technology file you cannot give voltages above the supply voltages that is the first thing but you can also not give voltages uh, which are beyond this icmr ranges so there is, there is a range for positive and negative voltages we will explain this more in further videos but right now understand this that is there is a range of input common mode you cannot give uh, any voltage at the inputs of the open opamp okay now a common mode rejection ratio we want a uh, differential pair as we say it we want amplification of the differential input voltage and not a uh, common mode voltage so there must be a rejection okay of the common mode uh, voltages so this is the common mode rejection ratio this is very also very important parameter Uh, which is usually referred as ad by acm or the differential gain upon common mode gain where we want common mode gain to be very small and that is why the cmrr will become very high okay? now power supply rejection ratio psrr as i mentioned uh, the supply voltage uh, fluctuations also must be removed uh, that is the effect of the uh, power supply voltages must be very less at the output so that is the power supply rejection ratio now output voltage swing how much swing are we allowing at the output okay that is also very critical input parameter now uh, output resistance uh, that is how uh, out, how much output resistance is there at the uh, load end uh, it also depends on the gm and these are the other parameters offset noise and layout area which are also important design parameters so if uh, this 12 things uh, are there in our mind and they we have specified then we can go further in designing an opamp okay so let's go now the design process so how do we uh, design once we have the specifications how do we design uh, these two stage opm so in designing terms of w by l ratios which are very important in uh, any cmos technology okay so let's go for it so the first thing uh, is the cc or compensation capacitor as we mentioned okay that must be 0.22 times of cl for approximately 60 degree phase margin okay which is uh, sufficient for many applications but if you have different phase margin there is in complex process by which we can uh, derive the value of the cc in terms of cl uh, so load capacitance we can decide that this is our load capacitance and uh, with the help of that we can calculate the cc now the second step is calculation of i phi okay now slew rate was very important uh, design parameter as we have mentioned okay now multiplication of that with the cc will result in i phi current so this much dc current which will flow from our uh, i am phi transistor with the value of i phi we can design our first w by l ratio which is s3 and s4 okay s3 and s4 will be ha will have same value okay now uh, the calculation of this goes like this i phi upon this particular denominator okay uh, then then we can calculate gm1 with the help of cc that we have calculated here gain bandwidth was also very important input para input design parameter so that is how we calculate gm1 from gm1 we can calculate our next two w by l ratios s1 and s2 or the input differential pair uh, w by l ratios uh, which is gm1 square upon this k1 dash by k1 dash into i5 okay so that is s1 and s2 will have both have same value okay now 
the calculation of S phi depends on the drain to source voltage of uh, M phi transistor. So, VDS phi, uh, this is the value which we will get uh, with the help of this equation. Now, S phi uh, depends on I phi VDS phi. With I phi, we have calculated just here and VDS phi is here. So, we can calculate S phi. Then S6 and then S7. So, uh, GM6 uh, will have this value. It depends on the CC and GM2. Then there is this equation S6 is equal to S4 into GM6 upon GM4. And then we have I6, uh, which is uh, this particular value. And we can from that calculate this value of S6. And the final value is S7, uh, which is this, which depends on the value of S5, which we have calculated, and I6 and I5. Okay. So these are the design requirements. So we have calculated M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, and M7. All the transistors that are present in our system, we have calculated the ratios for all of them. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I would like to go further for the concluding remarks. So, the design parameters and the circuit, how they complement each other okay? and which parameter will change which particular uh, W by L ratio uh, of transistor. The trade-off between the different parameters and the circuit itself. Okay. Now, so you can see this is the uh, final circuit and the parameters that how the design parameters will affect particular uh, W by L ratio uh, or for which transistor. Yeah. Let's see. So first we have seen the CC compensation capacitor that only depends on what the phase margin of the design and the CL or the load capacitance. Okay, CL and the load capacitance. Uh, CL and the uh, for the phase margin 60 degree we can have approximately 0.22 CL uh, capacitor uh, CC value. Okay. Then we had go we had gone for I5 or SR into CC. Minimum ICMR decides uh, for this particular thing. See, ICMR is a range of voltages. Okay, it is not a fixed value. So there will be a minimum ICMR. Then there is a maximum ICMR. So minimum ICMR affects the M5 transistors W by L ratio. So maximum ICMR changes the, the uh, W by L ratios of uh, S3 and S4 or M3 and M4. Then the gain bandwidth product, which was also very important design parameter, affects the M1 and M2 transistors uh, W by L ratios. Okay. Then uh, this V out minimum. See, uh, we have mentioned the output swing, right? That decides the uh, W by L ratio of M7 and uh, GM6 and VSG4 uh, will decide the W by L ratios of M6. So there is an interconnection between the W by L ratios and the specification that we choose. Uh, our specification will change the W by L ratio of OPAM and thus we can uh, change the design of our OPAM with respect to W by L ratios. This is how the specifications will affect the circuit parameters. Okay, So, this was our first video where we have explained the design equations and the working of a CMOS two-stage operation amplifier. In the next video, uh, we will explain that how these design parameters can be selected, the values of them, and then how W by L ratios will be calculated from them. Okay. So in the in the video after that, I will implement the circuit in LT Spice, and then we will show the result that uh, uh, how these uh, design parameters have affected our final output in terms of frequency response or the voltage swings that are available and what are the DC currents and the transconductance values that are there in the system. All these things we will explain in the third video. So uh, stay tuned for more such videos and if you find uh, this video interesting and valuable, you can share this video, you can like it, uh, share, subscribe and uh, I will meet you in the next video. Uh, happy learning.